Hey everybody, this is the My ATV Media Gaming Crew, and we are back after the Ubisoft press conference, and we're going to talk about that. Uh, so, what did you guys think of Ubisoft's presentation? Well, it was funny. It's the Best one so far. Best one so far. Probably show of. Sorry, they probably had the 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 game of the show. So I, I definitely tip my hat to them, but I called it. In the last video that we made, I said they always have surprises, and we were surprised, pleasantly surprised. Well, listen, I'm French, so I, I have to vote <laughs> for Ubisoft, definitely. They were able to provide a show that is worth E3. Uh, so far, none of the uh, major corps were able to do that. Well, they didn't have any uh, uh, hip-hop stuff. <laughs> and, and no uh, other? And they, uh, they showed off a really cool new IP, so they, they did it in my book. I mean, I, put, I wouldn't say that they were the best so far. I'd say they're same as, on the same level as Microsoft. They were okay. Uh, you guys want to talk about some games? I think they're better than Microsoft. Yeah, I think they're way better than Microsoft. I think All right, so the votes are in. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, no, Donald, votes. Donald, Donald. What do you think? Yeah, uh, uh, Ubisoft. Ubisoft yeah. or Microsoft? Yeah, yeah Ubisoft. Three against one. I mean, they started the show with a classical music uh, gig. It was nice. Yeah, uh, actually, you know what? You guys are right. That thing with the rocks, Rocksmith in the mm -hmm. beginning where they brought in the guy from Alice in Chains, that was sick. Yeah. yeah. Also, Rocksmith, man, that's it's, it's crazy how you can learn an instrument from mm -hmm. a video game now. That's, and, that's nuts. And I've always wanted to learn how to play guitar. And I'm probably going to pick it up just so I can learn how to play guitar. Mm -hmm. And it's a she. I mean, she's the uh, MC. And uh, she's Tyler. doing a great job. She's yeah. a tower. She's beautiful. Uh, Man, let's just let's just talk about what everyone else talk about them heels. Wow, <laughs> she was towering over Yi Yamal. Or Man, she was great, but she had some she had some fucking weird humor, man. Yeah, the, the, the hashtag the girl wood thing. I liked it all the way. She was spunky. She was fun. She has some funny words as well. Yeah, it's like and one thing. She scared the shit out of all those nerds. That's for sure. <laughs> she could she could definitely like. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? She was very like free. She wasn't like scripted. You know what I mean? Yeah. She reacted she to the like crowd. She's an yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she's an actress. Exactly. So you could see that she's in her, which I liked. She was a good presenter. Yeah, it was a little bit awkward. It was a lively good. presentation. Yeah. Like the, uh, you know what? There's like, there's always that argument of like, okay, do you want to see devs? Do you want to see yeah, yeah, the yeah. execs, or do you want to see people who are trained yeah. to entertain people? And you know what? I think Ubisoft made the case for yep. trained yeah. actors today. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to talk about some games? Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. All right. So we all, we all know what we want to talk about. Yeah. That much is clear. Yeah. But yeah. let's just get like the stuff that was okay out of the way. So okay. Rayman was all right. I'm excited. I like I like the Rayman good. series. Uh, I'm super excited for Splinter Cell. But yep. the yeah. The demo they showed was awful. What did you guys think? That was the worst CG trailer thing I've ever seen. Like, what was that? Like, they didn't even zoom into the screen. They were showing that it was affecting everything else. Stupid. I just want to see gameplay. I don't want to see all that. That, that was, especially after, was it last year, where they did like 11 minutes of a level or something? Yeah. All they had to do was show a minute cut together of gameplay. Yeah. You know? And people would, or just show some spies versus mercs. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Yeah. But, nope. That's what everyone wants to see. Yeah. Well, they did it with Division, but I don't want to get into that topic. Yes, definitely. It was not Christoph, a good... Band, we yeah, yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 we're going to talk about it. Yeah, it was we'll not we'll a good uh, trailer, for sure. Yeah. Uh, so what do you guys think about Mighty Quest for Epic Loot? I don't like free to play. No? Um, I'm mm -hmm. out. I wanted to like it. Um, there's a lot. Of, it looked good, but the humor was a bit juvenile. But uh, it's free to play. It's, it's meant to be for kids. So. For the market. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I think it could work. I think yeah. with free to play games, like the the thing that like make you know sink or swim is mm -hmm. the is if they can keep delivering content. You know what's an awesome free to play game? game? Gotham City Imposters. Yeah, I heard that, that game. Was good. That game is fantastic. But that used to be pay to play, right? Yes, it was. But so was DC Universe Online, and I personally think that game is trash. Even though a lot of people love it, I hate that game. So I guess Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. We're not going to know until we check that yeah. out. Yeah. Uh, so South Park, big hit with all Ooh. of us. Yeah. It's it's going to be funny no matter what. I mean, it's it's written by the original creators. It's based on probably the best episode of the whole series. I mean, it, it's. It's going to be bought by Soul Park fans. Whether or not it's a good game, it's going to have a good story. It's going to, it's going to sell. Yeah, that man, because like all of us probably have some sort of connection mm -hmm. to that episode where they all do Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of the things about South Park uh, that's a little strange is that we still haven't actually seen any of the proper gameplay yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there's so much trust and faith in that game 
because like every it's like you just know Matt Parker and Trey Stone wouldn't get involved with the project unless they believed in it. Mm -hmm. And if you look back over the show, there's so many like references to video games and RPGs. I mean, they did that whole episode that we all love, where they dress up as Lord of the Rings characters, yeah. you know, and they call the Harry Potter kids fags. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know, didn't that guy's like you fart? And and make love not Warcraft. So I mean, these guys know games, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it looks like basically the game is going to be a South Park episode. So I mean, that's wicked. And it's got RPG elements, which which can't hurt, which yeah. can't hurt at all. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's, it's being developed by uh, what is it, Obsidian? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it yeah. is Obsidian. Yeah. Stone and Park personally approached them to make it. It wasn't. They, they just said we to make it. So. Which that's pretty yeah. sick. Yeah. That is pretty awesome. sick. I can I can respect there's, that. There's a lot to believe in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that trailer was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Nagasaki Park. All right, so uh, the crew, what do we think of that? I want it more than I want Drive Club. Yeah? Uh, yeah. I, I like Drive Club when I first heard about it, but I'm not big into sim racing games, and I like the more arcadey feel of racing games. Like, my, at home when we would play, my older brother would be into the sim racing games, and I, I could just never get good at them because he was so good at them. So I got into the arcade ones, Burnout and like Need for Speed. And seeing that, it was like, man, I can get into this. Like, I really like this idea. It's TV4. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'm in that camp too. I mean, i not really so much into the sim driving games. I'm more into like Burnout is my favorite yeah. racing franchise. And that to me looked like an extension of like Burnout Paradise. Like big open world online. And it's basically just encouraging you to go and like cause havoc. Again, Ubisoft coming up with a new uh, new franchise. Yeah, exactly. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and it looks like like the scope of it's amazing too. Mm -hmm. Like all this, like how they they said in the demo, oh, you can just look to the mountain and you can actually drive there. If that's true, that's going to be huge. Yeah, and I I predicted one surprise from them. They gave us two. So this was one of them. This was something that no one saw coming, and it just came out of came out of nowhere. And it was a pleasant surprise. And then the the end, which we're getting to. That was amazing. Uh, so, Watch Dogs. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, a little bit disappointing, just because I was expecting another stage demo. Yeah. I mean, I kind of, well, once we get to the end, it kind of makes sense why they didn't do that. Yeah. But, I mean, Watch Dogs, ever since it's debuted, it's kind of been like the poster child for the next generation of games. Yeah. It's easily going to be, I mean, like the go-to game outside of stuff like Destiny or, or uh, Titanfall for next gen. I think they're also saving it for the Sony conference. We haven't oh, seen it yet. Totally it's coming up great. soon. But uh, that's that's where it's going to be shown. And especially with what they did at the end. But I think what the worst was, I had seen the trailer because it leaked a day or I think a day before. And I already seen the trailer. And I was hoping for a little bit more. And then when I saw the trailer, I was like, okay, well, now I can go on Twitter. I, I've already seen this. <laughs> so. But when we do see that rumored stage demo, yeah. we're expecting something big. Because oh, yeah. the, sta oh, yeah. the demos we've seen so far have been sick. I mean, they've been yeah. mind-blowing, right? So. I mean, my, my concern is that it's not as good as it looks, because it can't be. He's not going to be as good as this game looks. I don't know, man. It's been in development for yeah. a long time. No, it just looks so good. There has to be some horrible catch. You're you right. Know? Everything that's happening, all these dynamic events, yeah. they seem like too perfect. A little you scripted, know? you know? A little scripted. But e even still, if you can give you that feeling like it's happening yeah. like organically, that would be so amazing. Yeah. yeah. The rabbits? Oh, yeah. So they showed off rabbits. I mean... Everyone's like, oh, you know, like TV and games is the future. Honestly, I don't think it's that new of an idea. I think that everyone's banking on this stuff. It's like when they were banking on, like, FMB. I think it's a cool idea, but it's nothing that we should, like... I mean, there's a reason they use, like, a kid's game and a yeah. kid's TV shows. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As the no, I... Uh, this, it's, it's called a transmedia strategy, and I get it. They're using multiple medias to tell the same story, to keep their audience engaged, because that's one of the biggest things. How do you keep them coming back? How do you keep them interested how do you keep them going and th it, this is clearly one of the uh, like a retention strategy that they're employing I think it'll work I think it'll work yeah you, you know you're, you're probably right I mean if you like even like Microsoft is doing with Halo yep. 5 you know the TV series with Spielberg Quantum yep. Break as well and Quantum, Quantum Break, break. Yep. although Quantum Break my hopes are a little lower mm. but. but the same basic idea so uh, so Christoph and I kind of have a disagreement over Assassin's Creed uh, while I thought it was okay I was really hoping to see the next gen Assassin's Creed engine running. Christoph thought that the trailer was good enough, as was. Yeah, I mean, this is the first of that trailer. Uh, it looked really good. Uh, the uh, different options you have, it's an open world. First of all, it's a Caribbean, you pirates. The options you have, in, and he said it, the adventure. What, what do people like about pirates? Yeah, but I wanted to see that. Like, I wanted to see an extension of what they had in Assassin's Creed 3, that big, open nature. 
environment like applied to the Caribbean. I wanted to see that waterfalls and like the gameplay and stuff and. I want to see the combat engine for sure. Everyone was worried about that, so I wouldn't worry too much about this. I mean, in the last Assassin's Creed, you always saw the the combat engine. It was amazing. A couple of missions. So you don't think they're going to change it for Black Flag? I think the last Assassin's Creed was a test run for Black Flag, and it was already amazing. So I I won't be disappointed. I can guarantee you that I much. Had with the trailer, was that you said? Well, you said, and the guy said as well. It's all about adventure, freedom, all this. But it had this quietest emo music for the trailer. <laughs> it should have had something livelier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, you're livelier, you'll see. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's get to what we all really want to talk about. Yeah, we all want to talk about Division. Yes. That was the ace in the hole. Yep. Mm. Game, uh, show, game of the show. Definitely. Game of the show. Yeah. Bold words. Yeah, I will say that. I haven't seen Sony's conference. Knack, mm. you better not disappoint. But... Game of the show, man. That thing. You know what? If they have a Destiny demo, they will. It might, they will. It might trump. Destiny that. will have a demo for sure, but we've been expecting it. That's we've true. Seen, that was a good. Yeah, we that's have. True. We have seen like those half second shots of what the game looks like. We've seen so much from it that this is so new that it will be game of the yeah, show. Yeah, throughout, throughout almost the entire thing, we were all thinking like, yep. "What is this? You know, yeah. what type of game is this?" And I think that like what's coolest about it. Is it looks like it's this great dynamic shooter. It's got a lot of action and stuff. Yeah. But it also, it actually just looks like it's a hardcore RPG, like straight yeah, up. There's is. lots of number crunching going yeah. on. Like. Yeah. The new, it might be the new Mass Effect. I mean, we were saying that while we were watching it, but this feels like the new Mass Effect. And you know what I love about it? It's post-apocalyptic, but there's no zombies, no mutants, no monsters. Yeah. It's humans. It's, it's just human versus people. human. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. yeah, that's wicked. I mean, that's a it's a bold move, but if it plays out, I mean... I know it's under the Tom Clancy label, but this feels like it's a whole, whole, own whole new thing. Yeah. I'm fine with it being under the Tom Clancy label. I think yeah, it's great. Yeah, me too. That just yeah, means for that, sure. you know, it's going to be yeah. military focus or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, um, so I guess the biggest question about Division, though, is how is this game going to work? Because it's like, is it it's supposed to be an MMO? Is it like, is there a story? Are you just playing for your, your crew or whatever? What's going on there? I mean, I however it works, I don't care. I want my hands on it. And... Uh, <laughs> What it looks like is they're doing, I think it looks like an MMO, the way they had like, the way they zoomed out. They did the same thing with Watch Dogs, which is so not fair. They zoom out and they show you a whole bunch of people on the map. And they're like, oh, we're not going to tell you any more information. But it looks like it's more MMO based. It's like, it's like a third person shooter RPG MMO. That's like the title for it. But do we think this is like a, a two tiered strategy from Ubisoft? Because uh, <clears throat> it looks like this game is, it's most likely running off the same engine as yeah. Watch Dogs. So is Watch Dogs the open world game interpretation of a classic single player game? And is this like the interpretation of like an MMO? I agree. That could be it's the a good case. question. Yeah, it's, it's a, a good very question. good, Because yeah. they're both, you know, being coming out at the same time. All right, guys. So we could talk about Division all night. There's a lot to talk about, but we should wrap this up. Yeah. So what was your favorite thing from the Ubisoft press conference? Obviously, it's going to be about division, but <laughs> aside, aside from division, let's say, yeah, let's say aside from division. aside from division. Yeah. Uh, so I, as much as I have problems with the Assassin's Creed Black Flag presentation, that little snippet they showed you of the actual graphics, I'm so intrigued. I want to see that game running. I can't wait. I'm the same. Um, division watchdogs. We've already we talked about them for for all night, but it would be Assassin's Creed besides those two. I'm buyer for Black Flag, mm. for sure. Uh, I'm I'm split evenly between Blacklist, but we didn't get to see enough, and uh, Trials. Black Black Trials. Blacklist. Blacklist. Sorry, did I say Black Flag? I Blacklist. No, and you said Blacklist. Yeah. Yeah. Tom Clancy. Okay. Splinter Cell. Yeah. For, for that or for uh, Trials. I love Trials. So yeah. uh, I, I've never I've never had enough time playing Trials. I've always just played it at friends' house, and now that it's coming to uh, PS4 and Android. And, and, and Android, yeah, but PS4 is where I want to play it. All right, guys, so this was the My ETV Media recap of the Ubisoft press conference. Stay tuned for Sony, which will be our last one for day one. Have a good one.